Hello space cadets, what's good, what's hot? Welcome back to the spot, looky right here. Oh, what do we got? Why, it's your old pal Vector Spaceman. Back at it again, man. Coming to you live once more from Harbor Station, broadcasting on all frequencies to our beautiful planet Earth. Now, whether you're watching us live or maybe you're catching us after the show, don't you know we're oh so glad to have you on board. Thanks for helping us make outer space the place to be. Today's Thursday, July 14th, 2022. Good evening, space cadets, and welcome to the show. If it's your first time tuning in tonight, then welcome aboard. This is the Vector Spaceman Show, and I am your host, the Vector Spaceman. Welcome back to our regular friends of the show, our wonderful space aces. I hope everyone is having a fine evening tonight, or perhaps a lovely Friday morning, depending on where you are in the world. One step closer to the weekend, don't you know I envy it. It's the last show of our weekday schedule for this week, and we're going to close it out with a title that we haven't seen on the show in quite a while. We're hopping into the pilot seat of the old Spaceman 1 as we return to Elite Dangerous. What sort of spacey adventures will we get up to tonight? Stick around to find out. If you missed our last show, we served up a piping hot cup of liberty to the galaxy as we spread freedom and manage democracy in Helldivers. We were lucky enough to be joined by friends of the show, Dragon Durant and Nepaltanen, two fellow space-themed streamers who have become regular co-hosts here on the show. We got carried across the stars through a series of firefights and mission objectives. Luckily, Nep is such a veteran when it comes to that game that we were able to boost through a few levels. Maybe someday we'll manage to even hope to even try to compete at her level. I wouldn't be surprised to see some more Hell Divers on the schedule and our friends back on the show in the near future. So, of course, if you want to stay up to date with all of our broadcasts so that you never ever miss a show, then be sure to follow Vector Spaceman on Twitter, YouTube, and right here on Twitch. Welcome to the show, Witherling. Good to see you right off the bat. A little action in the chat. Hope you're having a, a lovely breakfast with Spaceman in your corner of the world. Nice to see you. I do envy those of y'all in different time zones for whom it is already Friday. The weekend is one step closer. For me, it can't come soon enough. And this is going to be our last show of the week. So we got to close it off with a bang. All right, you guys, it's another space night tonight. Now, we're going to be off this weekend. We're not going to have our usual Sunday show on account of we're going to be appearing right around our usual time on somebody else's channel. Friend of the show and fellow virtual streamer, Cory Ojo's weekend-long subathon birthday celebration begins tomorrow. Three straight days of shows and guests. And Spaceman's going to be appearing on the Sunday show. Let me go ahead and give a little shout-out for anyone not aware of Madame Cory Ojo. Make sure you're following her. Show her some love. Be sure to tune in to that to see what we get up to. We're going to have a grand time celebrating. But tonight, we're revisiting an old fave, an old classic. One that we started playing on this show a few months back that I got so thoroughly sucked into. But after only a few on-air sessions, we let it fall by the wayside. It's Elite Dangerous tonight, and I've got to say, having spent some time playing No Man's Sky on the show for the past couple of weeks, sort of a contemporaneous game, I really do appreciate the level of control over one's spacecraft that Elite Dangerous offers compared to No Man's Sky. Ellie, how are you doing? Cleaning up around the station? You go on and you lurk. We're glad to have you lurking in the wings, Ellie. Hope you're having a great evening. Now what was I saying? Right, No Man's Sky. Much more surface level, I'm thinking. I appreciate the, the fidelity, the little degrees of sophistication. They come with Elite Dangerous's cockpit. Even something just as simple as being able, uh, able to, uh, to look around the inside out of the windows, see space flying by, passing you by, it's great stuff. See all your little dials and knobs and all that interface with your your computers. And I think what caused Elite Dangerous to fall off for me though was that we didn't have a clear goal, a clear mission while we were playing. But that's something that we can easily remedy, something that we can solve, no problem. So tonight, our flight plan is going to include finally figuring out how to smuggle cargo past station scanners without getting lit up by automated turrets. If anyone recalls the last time we streamed this game, that's how it ended for us <laughs> on stream. Was getting shot down and stuck into space jail. Scriblark, would you consider yourself elite, dangerous, or both? When we fly, everyone is in danger. That This is true. <laughs> Hardly elite, though. But we're trying to get our wings back. 
Historia Gaming. How are you doing? I can help with that. Also, hello everyone. Hello everybody. Yes, we got a lot of people chatting tonight. It's good to see everybody. We're going to try to learn some new things tonight vis-a-vis -vis the Spaceman 1, our good old spaceship, our good old trusty space cargo van, as it were. And another thing we could do, maybe we could even try to plot a course that'll take us to some of the different points of interest in the map. I know I'd love to see Earth, for example, but I think I've read that you need to have a special permit, so maybe we can see just how close we can get. Maybe we'll run some contraband for a few quick space bucks to finance our journey across the stars. We'll see what we get up to. Lots of stuff that we could do tonight as we jet across our galaxy. So without further ado, let's strap in and get ready to launch. All the while, of course, we'll be chit-chatting with the space cadets. Let me know how you're doing, what's new, what's fresh, what's going on. You know I love to hear from you all. And for those of you lurking in the chat, feel free to put your chair into a reclined position. Settle in as we cruise into another evening of good times. Thanks for flying Vector Spaceways. We know you have a choice in quality spacey content, and we appreciate your support. <laughs> oh, Emrys rhymes with abyss. Welcome back. Can't stay for super long tonight, Vector, but I wanted to pop in and say I would listen to you read the space phone book. <laughs> and I hope you enjoy Elite Dangerous. Well, thank you so much. We're going to do our best tonight. We'll keep you in mind, loyal space cadet. Thanks for tuning in. Historia says, I would pop on Elite Dangerous myself, but work has left me too drained to focus brain on the video games. Understandable, understandable. No worries. Let Spaceman deal with the flying. No problem. Let's get into it, you guys. Here's Elite Dangerous. Let's pop on our proper game in hands and let's head on over to the big screen. Okay, audio switch. Here we go. There it is, the Spaceman 1. Our lovely wedge-shaped spacecraft. I actually forget what these ones are called, but let's log in here. And if I'm not the Asp Explorer, you're absolutely right, Historia. Right on point. Very aerodynamic. Yes, well, not really something you have to worry about in the depths of space. Though we can land on atmospheric planets, I believe. Here we are at good old orbital stockade N65. We are still in space jail. Lovely. All right, let's try to get our bearings here. Let's open up the map. Here we are. All right. Controls. Okay, there's controls. Let's zoom out. See where we are compared to anything we might recognize. Oh, there's there's us. There's Sol. Can I zoom in? Maybe I'm off. Oh, there we are. We're just on a different plane. Down, 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 down. No? Have I overshot it? Maybe I've got weird... Ah, we're trying to find commodities. There we go. Oh, look at that map blow up. All these different star systems that we can visit. There's us. Good old-fashioned soul. So it says controlled by Zachary Hudson. Who is that? 50 light years away. Democratic government. 22.8 billion people, you guys. We're in an economic boom right now. That's good to hear. And then we zoom out, there's us. So if we did want to go visit, it would be quite a few jumps, it looks like. Plus, I don't think we can actually visit. But, maybe we could go visit our next door neighbor, Alpha Centauri. Doesn't look like we need a any sort of pass to go visit there. And we get to pass through Barnard's Star. Oh, a whole sightseeing adventure. You need, like, rank 4 in Federation Navy? Ah, I see. So we're well, we're, we're quite a ways away from that, I'm sure. I don't think we've done any Navy missions or anything like that. Hudson's the current Federation president? Okay, that makes sense. You can visit your <laughs> Scriblark? Yeah! We could just do a little flyby. Oh, looks like we got some bots in the chat. Want to become famous? Buy followers, primes, and viewers. I would love to do this. You guys, it's so comforting to know that we're getting big enough to draw the attention of bots. Fantastic. All right, how do we... We ain't got no mods here. How do we... This is how we do it. We slash. We ban. There we go. Easy peasy. 
don't often have to do that stuff, but every once in a while. All right, so we've got a heading. But first, let's take a look at our ship. How do we do that? We go to Starport Services. We got to bust out of this space jail. And let's go to the shipyard outfitting. Not shipyard, because that's buying ships. Okay. Outfitting, then. Maybe not outfitting. Maybe it was... Advanced maintenance? Nope. Nope. Where is... Spaceman 1? The UI on this is always a little tricky to try and... Ah, yes, here we are. This is our Asp Explorer, the Spaceman 1, but perhaps we should change this now to the Spaceman 2, since we did go and get ourselves blown up at the end of the last game. We'll just update our registry information. There we go. Now, have we got any cargo on board? Let's see. Inventory. Inventory empty. They seized all of our stuff. If you're at jail ship, you can just take off. All right, good to know. I don't think we've got any outstanding fines or anything like that. Authority contact, no outstanding fines. Okay. Back out, back out. All right, time to launch. Get our space legs back, you guys. All right, time to re recall if I can control this ship. Let's see. See, this is what it's all about. We can look around. Oh, look, they put us right out into space. Oh, oh, geez, oh, geez, oh, geez. Okay. There we go. Thrusting up and rotating off the landing platform. So is this a station or was this a ship? Looks like a space station. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's got the artificial gravity ring and everything. It's funny, they changed the UI in the DLC and now I've almost forgotten how to use the Horizon UI. Yeah, that's a mega ship if I ever saw one. Okay, we got all of our heat sinks on still. That was what messed us up and what got us into space jail in the first place. Because if I press my heat sink button, Okay, looks like we dropped one of them. That's good. And this is what freaked me out, is look at this. The windows start uh, cracking up. With frost. And that freaked me out the first time I saw it, so I just boosted right into the station. Made a collision, and that's what caused them to uh, scan us, I'm pretty sure. And then we got blowed up. So we're gonna have to remember not to do that again. <laughs> yeah, the right idea. Yeah, we just didn't have, uh, just didn't have the, uh, you know, the calm, cool, and collected wits to see us through to the end. Okay, our heat's coming back up, so we gotta be quick about that. Or we gotta use more heat sinks. And heat sinks do not recharge, so we're gonna have to actually buy some more. So, let us look up the galaxy map. What's the nearest station or system? that we're familiar with. We used to cruise around down this general area, which is quite a ways away by the look of things, unless I'm just zooming into oblivion. There are systems down here, but, oh yeah, here they are. Actually, I should have them bookmarked, let's see. We are presently at Whoops, where are we? Ross 640, okay. Ah, stop moving, stop moving. Now we have bookmarked Ross 490. How far away is that? Uh, doesn't look like it's too far. Could we plot a route? How many jumps are we gonna have to Make one, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's not too bad. 
Now, I'm pretty sure this is around the area where we started running uh, silver in order to make all of our space bucks, all of our space millions. Did you turn on silent running too? I'm not actually sure. How do we turn on silent running? Let's find out. Let's look at our controls. Flight controls. Flight miscellaneous. Engine boost, super cruise, flight assist. Yeah, I am. V, is that for my, oh, cooling, here we go. Silent running is delete, okay. Good to know, good to know. So if we hit delete, rig for silent running. Oh, could the shields go off? Uh-oh. Can y'all still hear me? It looks like we just dropped connection with Twitch. Oh, but now it looks like it's coming back up. Calling occupants of interplanetary stream. Can you hear a vector spaceman? Still hear me? Okay, great. It looks like our connection came back. Oh my goodness gracious, hold on. So we turn off our shields and our heat skyrockets? Why is that? How does that make sense? Alright, perhaps we shouldn't question it. Oh, Kieran, a certified space ace! How are you doing, birthday boy? Everybody. I want to tell you all about our good pal, Kieran Traya here. Let me do a little shout out. A little shout out. Shout out, Kieran. Kieran here is a fellow virtual streamer who, guess what, is super, super close to getting affiliate status. Go check him out, you guys. He plays lots of fun games. He's a really cool dude. And it's his birthday today. Oh, his story, I explained it a couple chat lines up. Maybe I missed it. Silent running... Oh, you're right. Here it is. Silent running masks your heat signature by closing all your venting ports. That's why. Okay. That's why it gets so hot. Yeah, birthday boy. How are you, Kieran? Thanks for tuning in. We're learning how to fly a spaceship. We're trying to relearn. My landing gear is still up. Gotta figure out what my button for that was. Let's see, controls, it's got to be under alternate flight controls, no, flight, no, landing overrides, flight miscellaneous, targeting miscellaneous, ship lights, cargo scoop, landing gear, L, okay, L for landing gear, you guys, how straightforward is that? I feel like it should be G, though. G for gear. I think I'm used to that from playing GTA or something. <laughs> My joints now sound like popcorn when I stand up. Hey, you and me too. Here's here's something just for you, Kieran. A little gratuitous knuckle cracking. Here we go. Ah, that's good stuff. How about the tips? Oh, that's good. Oh, it just don't stop. Oh, now the elbows. Ah, why do they pop like that? <laughs> Through a mix of silent running and heat sinks, you should be able to smuggle objects into a station very, very easily. All right, let's give it a shot. So, we've got a course set for, let's see. That's us. We want to reset that course. Here we go. Ross 490. Let's plot a route. Whoops, 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 whoops. This is wrong button, this is wrong button. How do I, how do I clear my targeting? There we go. That's how we do it. All right, we gotta put our first system on main screen. 
let's boost. We get up to speed. Frame shift canceled. Mass locked. Oh, come on. We're still too close to the ship. All right, we'll give it a second then. I was about to say, why, was there, why did we come to a dead stop there? These controls, you guys. You actually rejoined the game at a pivotal moment in lore. Oh, really? What's going on? We're coming up to the big finale for an ongoing story arc? Nice. That's just what I want to be part of. Frame shift drive charging. Give us a give us a brief overview, Historia. What's happening in the wide world of Elite Dangerous? In our virtual galaxy. Alright, we're gonna jump soon. Here we go. You know what? I didn't even calculate if we had enough fuel for all these jumps. But I think they take that into consideration when they're plotting the route. They tell us if we can't make it, right? Oh! Pitch up! Don't want to run dead into a star. Setting course for our next jump. Fuel scooping? Fuel scooping? What the heck? When did we get a fuel scoop? I must have put that on the ship at the end of the last game. Frame shift drive charging. Tell you what, this is like the perfect game to just play while you've got stuff going on in the background, listening to a podcast or watching a video or something like that. Nice, calm, relaxing space flight. Touring the galaxy, you guys. Coming up next, probably another big star. Let's see. Bam, there we go. Coolant purge, what the heck? Oh no, I accidentally. Why are we heat sink deployed? We don't want this. Hold on, I want to try scooping fuel. So if you just get close enough, it just automatically starts scooping. Here we go. We just gotta keep our, our heat down. What the heck? Ah! We got too close to the star. Alright. Boost away, boost away. Safety cooldown in progress. Ah, oh, come on. Insufficient energy. I was just fuel scooping, come on. All right, cool down. Or what happens if I pop one of my heat sinks? That ought to cool us down. There we go. Safety cooldown in progress still, come on. Here we go. We're lined up for our next jump. Let's see if we can't just... There we go. Boost into it. If there's anything that's going to get us killed out here... It's our own spacey incompetence. <laughs> Uh-oh, we're heating up. We better make this jump quick. There we go. Don't get too close to stars, you guys. It's downright dangerous. Okay, Astoria here with the lore. So there's a man called Salvation who says he can defeat the Thargoids once and for all with a super weapon. Sounds good, sounds promising. Taking heat damage. Yeah, yeah, we're taking heat damage. But it has come out recently that Salvation is actually not a good person. He believes in the outcome just of, oh, he's, well, he's the, the greater good kind of guy. The outcome justifies the means. I'm splitting them up because there's a lot to unpack. All right, just give us the the you know the cliff notes, the bullet points. That's fine. Meanwhile, looks like we're gonna have to spin around here. Oh, there's Ross 490. That's our target. Frame 
mind shift drive charging. And look at that, we got fuel to spare. I'm sure I've heard of Salvation before, though. I didn't think it was a person, I thought it was a group. I like how the little NPC cruise ships show up on the uh, on the local radio and system. That'd be fun to do. Do some of those passenger missions. Here we are. Now let's make a a beeline for Dunyak Enterprise. That's a station that we usually dock at. We'll re-up on our supplies. And we'll get to try out coming out of Super Cruise. Because it's been a while since we had to do a docking sequence. We'll get to practice that again. Why, we're just 500 light seconds away. Right, gotta pay attention here. So it's come out that he's actually a person named Caleb Wickerly, aka the Witch, who has recently targeted and sabotaged the Aegis megaship Alexandria, killing its 4,000 member crew. Okay, so not, not the greatest of guys, not the greatest of dudes. Hello Vector and happy birthday Kieran, it's Big Rig Regional Mikado, how you doing? Oh, we gotta start slowing down. We're coming in. Docking at Dunyak Enterprise Station. We're here to pick up some fuel, some cargo, and then we're gonna go try to visit Alpha Centauri, our closest neighboring star. Right, throttle down, throttle down. Once we're in 10 light seconds. Oh no, then it goes to mega meters. All right, gotta follow the the orbit as well. Gonna take our focus here, Space Cadets. Slow down. Yeah, tell me to slow down. Almost got it. Almost got it. Oh, jeez. Too fast. We lost target. Oh, how far out are we? 3.8 megameters. We could try to cruise the whole way there, but I think we're going to have to jump back into Super Cruise. Otherwise, it's going to take us a year to get there. Time for the most complicated docking of any space game. You know what? I really love docking in Elite Dangerous, just because it does require you to like pay attention. I think it's super fun. It's one of my favorite parts. Safety cool down. Stop safety cooling down. Come on, we're fine. There we go. We're not about safety. Okay, this is going to be a short boost. So how close do we have to be? Is it under one million meters? It is, okay. And then we disengage. There we go, right on target. Now once we're within seven kilometers, I think, we can start hailing the station. Let's see. Request docking, there we go. Granted. All right, now it's time for some slick maneuvering. Let's do a little rotation. Try to match the station. Very interstellar-esque. Right, we're coming in a little fast here. Alright, let's line ourselves up proper. There we go, no problem. We're still coming in a little quick. There we go. And 
we're looking for landing pad 35. Okay, we're getting scanned. Thankfully, we haven't got any cargo on us. Ow. Slowing down. Pitching over. Come to just about a complete stop. Landing gear down. Landing gear deployed. And lower us, lower us, lower us down. Look at that, we get a little targeting sensor. That's great. Very helpful. We appreciate it. And bam! Right on target. Oh, now we can pay attention to what's going on here. <laughs> so, more about this Salvation fella. As well as working in an organization that was thought to be defunct called Azimuth Biochemicals, who performed experiments on humans to implant Thargoid tech into their minds to control Thargoid ships. Alright, so this guy is just bad news. The more I hear about him, the less I like him. As well, deploying a bioweapon... The Mecoid virus that ended the first Thargoid war. Said organization has come out of hiding and has now renamed themselves Azimuth Biotech. Okay, so, you know, just a little rebranding. That should be a good basis to start off with to get back on track with the ongoing lore. Well, thank you for that. So is it all boiling down to all-out war with the Thargoids at this point? Are we going to have to retrofit the Spaceman 2? for alien combat and he's 200 years old well that just sounds like cheating how do you how do you manage that i wish i was 200 years old captain enigma how are you doing neat spaceman doing spaceman things that's right welcome to dunyak enterprise station our first stop tonight on our tour of the galaxy we're trying to go visit alpha centauri our neighboring star oh that's cool we've got quick refuel and repair and restock buttons now. Gets me all my heat sinks back. Gets me fueled up. That's a good that's a good addition to the to the UI. Welcome to the starboard. We hope you enjoy I'm a fan of that. Alright, now because it is throwing me off, let's go and let's change the keybind that I have for for landing gear. Where is it? Landing gear. Cargo scoop. Not cargo scoop. I'm thinking of fuel scoop. So I guess fuel scoop is just automatic. Landing gear, we're going to change to G. Cycle next target, we're going to have to change that to something else. Targeting. Cycle next target. How about... Why? Cycle next subsystem. Ah, I see. This is already applied to something. Um, then how about H? That select highest threat. Okay, maybe we don't want that then. How about cycle next target stays as You know what? I don't need to cycle next target. That's that's that's. Oh, you know what? I probably do though. I probably do though. We should find a key that we can use here. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, Captain Enigma with the Kirby redeem. Thanks so much for that. Let me go ahead and pop old KB onto my head. Oh, look. <laughs> it copied the uh... silent run. Oh, no, cancel, cancel, cancel. No, I'm right. See, this is what we need. We need our little our little space travel buddy. Kirby's an astroneer, an astronaut. It's very on brand. We've been fighting Thargoids for years. Salvation's planning on using a super weapon to basically commit genocide on the Thargoids and wipe out their entire fleet. So on the one hand, no more Thargoids. That doesn't sound bad. But on the other hand, it sounds like this guy is not the best dude. Let's see, could we go T and tab? That is not, that is not a... Well, we can do that, okay. Hmm. What about, what about 
T and arrow. Yeah, maybe that'll work. Maybe that'll work. We'll go with this for now. All right, apply. All I need is my... I don't really target a whole lot, so all I need is my landing gear to be right within reaching space in my one hand here. Okay. Now, let's pull up the local economy, the commodities market, and le let's see what we can't try to deliver here. Okay. I wonder, has this whole interface gotten any better since the last time I played a few months ago? Because it used to be that uh, the, uh, the profit estimates were kind of way off and I had a lot better uh, luck using the uh, the online sort of companion tools that people have developed. Oh, so a group of players commanded by S Piscuit and Celine Star Dragon, that's a name, have come together in a player-run initiative called Operation Witch Hunt. The Operation Witch Hunt to basically fight against Azimuth Biotech in any system they are in and make them retreat, and we've been super... So that's a player-driven, like, response? That's like a whole player-organized endeavor? Because that sounds pretty, pretty cool. What if we wanted to compare prices? Let's see. I should start looking for systems that we're going to go visit on our trip here. Oh, so that's still a problem. I can't navigate while I've got... the commodities market open. What a shame. Okay. Now let's open up navigation. Galaxy map. Player-driven response, which FDev made a Galnet post of, so it's not, so it's not canon. Oh, now canon, now canon to the game. Okay. I think the last time I heard about a big player, uh, sort of player featured and player-driven expedition or what have you was uh, that big science ship that was going to jump into uncharted space, and everybody had uh, had had jumped aboard. They were raring to go. And uh, the whole thing sort of blew up. It, it never really came came to much. The people who went on the expedition got uh, a lot of them got blown up by Thargoids on the way there, and then teleported like thousands of light years away for their respawn. And apparently, there was some issue with uh, with the ship they were on targeting their own ships because they were fighting too close to it. I, I remember seeing a YouTube video or two about it, about the whole incident. I forget what the name of the ship was or what they were trying to do, though. Now let us plot a course for... Where are we? Where are we? Soul! There we go. Soul train, you guys. Alpha Centauri. Not Sol, Alpha Centauri. There we go. Let's plot a route. And then we'll start... Oh, excuse me! That's only three jumps away? Hold on. This map is deceiving. We're gonna go to Wolf 424, then to Lumen 16, and then to Alpha Centauri. So let's try smuggling something into Alpha Centauri Station. First of all, nope, nope, not here, not here, down here. Select, there we go. Can you tell me about that? Do they have any stations? No system description available. Hmm. Peter, how you doing? Yeah, we got Kirby on our head. That's one of the uh, one of the show redeems. Captain Enigma was so kind as to make us wear this for a little while. 
The Gnosis, that's what you're talking about. Yeah, that, that was what, what I was talking about, Astoria. You're absolutely right. But yeah, we had something similar happen with one of the mega ships in the current community goal to help fight off the Thargoids. Kind of a quirk of the game where you're fighting around a mega ship, but since it's considered a space station, it has a no-fire zone. Yeah, see, that, that seems like something they should be able to disable if they were clever about it, right? Now, if Kirby swallows me, what powers does he gain? Well, he's going to get... Uh, first of all, he's going to get the helmet, obviously. Because Kirby always be getting hats when he swallows people for whatever reason. And then I figure he's probably going to get a whole bunch of old trivia about old Flash series. He'll probably start talking about Homestar Runner a whole lot. You know, he'll probably start talking about the good old days of internet and this and that. <laughs> and he'll probably, just maybe, just maybe, he'll be able to fly a spaceship poorly. <laughs> like Spaceman can. But yeah, spaghetti code? Sounds like it. Alright, let's open up the... I want to search... Come on. Yeah, here we go. Commodities. What does Alpha Centauri need? Tell me import prices on... Mmm... What's illegal? That that seems a little grim. What else have we got? Medicines. Performance enhancers. Data unavailable. Only available for systems ah, in which you have docked. We haven't been there, so we don't know. Okay. Well, maybe we can find out Whoop. if we open up the commodities market. Let's compare prices between here and... I actually don't know any of the names of the Alpha Centauri system places. So, can I just search Alpha Centauri? Re. There we go. No results match your search. So, is it because I haven't been there yet? Maybe I can just select it manually. But then, since I haven't been there, will it tell me anything about it? Nope, 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 nope. This interface, man. There we go. Agronomic treatment. Select. Can't select. Only available for systems in which you have docked. Okay. Then it's just going to be, it's just going to be a mystery. We're going to find out when we get there. But I'm pretty sure... What's illegal just about everywhere? Let's see. We could try to sell some performance enhancers. But I'm not sure if that's actually considered contraband or not, where we're going. Consumed by... Colonies, agricultural, industry, refineries. Broad category of engineered substances that enhance human, physical, mental, or emotional ca capabilities. There are some risks for excess consumption. They are illegal in some jurisdictions. Okay. Also, avoid Hutton Orbital and Alpha Centauri? Oh, why is that? That name kind of sounds familiar. Is it a popular hub? Are there griefers orbiting about? Is that the idea? Piscuit and Celine Star Dragon are big Twitch streamers for Elite Dangerous. Ah, I see. They've got some reputation. Oh, it's really, really far away. Oh, I see. Okay. We'll try to find a closer station then. Oh, wait. Why have I... Why, why does the name sound so familiar? Is it, like, really far away? Is it, like, a place to visit? Looks like we can actually make decent dollar buying and selling performance enhancers. How much should we spend on this? We could buy up to a hundred. Which then would net us a profit of... How much was it? I mean, if we were just selling it at Springer Gateway, it would get us over... 1.5 thousand credits per unit. 
So over a hundred thousand. Credit profit if we went all in? But you know what? We're just going to try for a small investment right now. The distance is 6.7 million light seconds or 0.22 light years from the dropout point. Oh, geez. All right, do they have any other? I should look this up beforehand on the handy dandy online Elite Dangerous companion stuff that they got. Elite Dangerous database. I was going to say, do they have any other systems? Or any other stations in the system? Let's see. Stations. Systems. We're going to look up Alpha Centauri. There are two orbital stations. Aldin Prospect and Hutton Orbital. So obviously we want to go for the one that is not super, super far away. Unless we were feeling saucy and we wanted to go for a big, long truck drive. i tell you what we'll do. I'll tell you what we'll do. But if you go to Hutton Orbital, you can get a rare commodity, the Hutton Orbital mug. Is that is that something I can put on my dashboard? Or is that, you know what, that sounds so familiar now. I have heard of that because it is some sort of like badge of honor amongst players or something like that, right? It's something you sell, okay. But yeah, you get a little souvenir for, for your troubles, okay. But that's gonna take us like a million years to get out there. So maybe one day when we got a faster ship. But it looks like they got another station that we can dock at, so maybe we'll try to go say hi there. But the first thing we're going to do, we are going to launch here. We've got a little contraband on us. We've got heat sinks. We know how to run cool. So we're going to launch out of one of our favorite stations here, Dunyak Enterprise Station. Landing gear retracted. We're going to throttle up. Right through the slot. Look at that. No problemo. Alright. And we're going to boost out of the station. And we are going to... Make a big old jump. Oh, hold on. We don't even have to take that long, circuitous route. We can just jump straight to Alpha Centauri this whole time, and we've never even visited? Alright, this ain't gonna take too long at all. Alright, we're no longer mass locked, so let's get ready to jump. What the heck? Frame shift cancelled. Jump exceeds fuel drive use limit of 3.3 tons. Oh, geez, Louise. Okay. How do I full stop here? Let's see. Flight assist on. Flight assist? That ain't what I'm looking for. Flight assist on. That's full stop. Okay, so let's plot a new route then. Because we're going to have to stop at some other station on the way, it looks like. We have to clear our route and replot our route. We gotta make a pit stop on the way. Now that we've loaded up, we should have done that beforehand. Got all the uh, all the cargo we were meaning to take. Yeah, cargo adds weight. Gotta remember these things, you guys. The game's intricate like that. It takes stuff into consideration. I love that about this game. Doesn't matter how fast your ship is, as super cruise speed across ships is constant. Oh, I see. Takes an hour and a half to get there. Ugh. That's not good quality content. <laughs> Maybe we'll do that some other night, and we'll start the show mid-trip or something like that. <laughs> Alright, let's throttle up here. We're away from the station. 
Let's get ready to jump. Wolf 424, our first stop on the way. I'm not sure if I've ever been to this system either. Not really worth the trip. It's just something to do to say you've done it then, I guess, huh? Be like, yeah, I've been out to hunt an orbital. But that's too bad that uh, super cruise speed is always constant. Because wouldn't it be cool to be able to say, yeah, I made the I made the Hutton orbital run in in you know an hour and a half or 65 minutes or whatever you could get it down to, right? Disengage. That'd be fun. Can I try scooping some more fuel, please and thank you? That's actually kind of rad. Where did that star go? Star, star. Oh man, we just zipped right by it, didn't we? We are putting miles on us here. Slow down, spaceman. Where the heck did that star go? Oh, oh. There it, where it, where it. Ah! Under us? There's one. Oh, there's a couple of... Or was there just one and we just got so far away? Oh, is that it? Where did it go? Oh, and I'm getting messages here. Oh, no, that's me. Man, two parsecs, yeah. Right, Regal? It, it'd be able to, being able to, to, you know, say cool stuff like that. Having the fastest ship in the galaxy. There is a racing league for Elite Dangerous. Isn't that for little ships? Or do they do big ships, too? Because I think I remember seeing some sort of promo for, like, planetary... Uh, yeah, like the... What do you call them? The ship launched fighters or something like that? Oh, jeez, we're about to get pirated. Oh, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta get ready for our next jump. Lumen 16, alright. No time to, uh, no time to investigate here. NPCs are coming for our butts. Oh, here it is. Escape vector. Come on. <laughs> Stay on target. Stay on target. Ready to engage. No, don't want to engage. Come on, come on. There we go. We're good, we're good. We had it, we got it, we got it. We're out. Whew. Buckyball racing. You can see a hollow ad on stations. Never heard of that then. That sounds cool. Whew, we avoided getting interdicted. We're just so skilled at avoiding AI. <laughs> oh! Alright, slowing down. Can we scoop? I don't know if we can scoop these red stars. Kinda close. Warning. Too close, in fact. Alright. Can't scoop these. Non-scoopable, yes. We're learning. Ah, we gotta get out of here. Put some distance between us and that star. Then, where's our next target? Somewhere over here. There's Alpha Centauri. All right, we can start cruising that way. Show me. Stuff in this system. Why are there so many what are these? Are these ships? Or are these stations? Spaceway. Mushroom Pie Inc. Knight's Fortress. Curse of Monkey Island. Player character Carriers. There's so many of them. Oh, we do have... Stations, though. 
Let's go try to dock before we take off to Alpha Centauri. Nine light seconds away. with escape factor. I'm right on it. What you talking about? Oh, because we're, we're, we're way too close to that star still. Alright, deploying heat sinks. There we go. What the heck? Where did our... There we go. So we gotta sort of zip around the, the star. Ah, kind of spiraling. Where did our target go? We are not having a great day. Flying, you guys. How far away is this thing? Did we completely pass it? 23 light seconds away. It's showing that it's behind us. Discovering more stuff, that's great. Alright, should be coming up dead ahead. There you are. Okay, let's slow down a bit. Whew, what a mess. You also have the hollow compass? Yeah, that's what I've been trying to line up with, but... Uh, it was throwing me off there a bit. All right, nice smooth approach. Don't forget theirs is also planet surface station. No, theirs isn't, right? Orbital station? Oh, but there is also planet surface stations. Yes, 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 yes. We've landed on a few of those, but I find that it takes so much longer to get on and off. Because of course, you gotta drop down to planetary cruise speed. light seconds. So once it drops below 10, it starts getting into megameters, and then once we get below 10 million meters, we can pop out, I believe, is how it works. Oh, no, it's not that much. How much is it? Not below 10, but below 5? Conflict zone, what the heck? Below 3, below 2, below 2 million meters? Below 1 million meters. Yes. Now here's a real question. What's the status here vis-a-vis -vis contraband? They're an independent system. Or you can just use the bars that appear to your left that help you drop out at your destination. Man, we're not we're not about to use you know any of that helpful autopilot stuff. Come on. Now I doubt that these guys have actual ship scanners. So, let's just call in our contact here. Docking request denied. Denied? What the heck? Docking request denied. We coming in too fast? Let's slow our roll down here. Or maybe, maybe all the docking spots are already taken. That's that's very possible. Landing pad's probably full. Yeah, I was just thinking that. Cause look, we got all these other ships in system. Docking request denied. Docking request denied. Docking request denied. Docking request denied. Come on, man. Voices, how you doing? The small docks have very limited queue for docking. Yeah, we're finding that out. We gotta deal with other players here. Oh, look, somebody just took off. Docking request denied. Docking I request just denied. saw them leave. Docking Come on, General denied. Orbital. Docking request denied. All right, we're gonna go camp that landing pad. <laughs> how are you doing, disembodied voices? Nice to see you. Are you a fan of Elite Dangerous as well? 
Also, it would say illegal cargo somewhere if you were carrying something illegal. Okay. No worries then. There we go. There we go. Alright, where are you sending us? Landing pad 5. This is landing pad 2, I'm pretty sure, so... We'll come around. Try to spot our landing pad here. There we go. Handful of hours in it? Same. Started playing this on stream maybe a couple months ago. Had such a great time with it. Haven't been back to it in a while, though. Apparently, a whole lot's changed. Historia Gaming here was telling us all about the in-game lore. Stuff that's going on sounds very exciting. Landing gear down. Going for that manual landing. Always a treat, always a thrill. Landing gear deployed. Here we go. And touchdown. Beauty. Can't land at these types of stations a lot anymore. Have you got uh, have you got a much bigger ship, Historia? Is that why? Let's see, we'll refuel. We don't have to repair. Because we didn't hit anything this time. Fantastic. Let's see what these guys are selling. We're on our way to Alpha Centauri. First time that we ever been to that uh, system. And we're smuggling cargo. We're going to try to make it into their station. Without getting detected. You got 14 ships? Jeez. One of these days, one of these days, we'll get there. Ooh, love selling silver. It's one of my favorite things to sell. Look at the profit margins. Alright, tell you what we'll do. We'll load up on silver. But are we still going to be able to make it to Alpha Centauri? That's the question. Are we still going to be able to make the jump? I'm not entirely sure. So why don't we just take a smaller cargo and we'll hope that we can make it. Actually been working toward my own fleet carrier, so correct me if I'm wrong, but those probably cost some sort of like monthly upkeep or something. Is that how it works? What sort of benefit do those get you? Are they just super cool? You get to show off? They probably got uh, a whole lot of quality of life services or something like that. Let's pop Kirby off of my head here. Alright, let's get ready to launch. Or I suppose, first things first. Let's check if we can still make it to Alpha Centauri. Looks like we can. It's going to be a straight shot. Turning us around, getting ready to launch. I never understood why we have to go through the whole turning around information for these open space docks. Ship released. Engines engaged. Landing gear retracted. Landing gear is off. We are clear to leave the station. There's our target. Again, this would be the perfect game for like a a VR headset to go along with it. We're mass locked, so let's boost away here. All power to engines. There we go. They carry my entire fleet for one, but also they can hold many different services as well as jump 500 light years. Wow, so you can do a little extra exploring. So if you can carry all your ships, that would mean that you don't have to wait around for your ships to get transferred between stations. Ah, that would be useful. I think stations have those fins that pop up that you would see on a supercarrier in the real world when they launch a fighter from the catapult. Oh, like, uh... Yeah, to catch the uh, the jet wash or whatever from like fighter planes that are taken off. So that's why they turn us around. I gotcha. All right, we are ready to jump to Alpha Centauri. Let's go. Now we do always run the risk of running into other players. 
but we've never really had a problem with that. Here's hoping that we don't get robbed on the way to our destination. Because I don't know, Alpha Centauri seems like the kind of place where players might go to visit. Especially if you can get a limited edition space mug. <laughs> And we are in system. Okay. Looks like we could probably scoop this, doesn't it? Yeah, this looks scoopable. Oh yeah. Dude, we're full fuel. Alright, let's get out of range here. I don't want to fall into another star, thank you very much. Let's keep our heat low. Okay, dropping, full stop. Let's find the nearest station. Unidentified contacts, we don't want that, we want. Stations, come on, show me stations. Alden Prospect, that's what we want. Want a lock destination, and before we get too close, we're gonna wanna start dealing with our heat sinks and our cool runnings. All right, this is it, you guys. This is our first attempt at smuggling, or our first proper attempt at smuggling. Now that we know how the the system works. Oh, but hold on, it's an outdoor station. Are they even going to have scanners? And by outdoor, I mean it's it's like the one that we just landed at. Fleet carrier in this game cut 5 billion credits with a 5 million upkeep to start with. Jeez, you must be rolling in the dough then, Historia. Hutton Orbital that we heard about. Aldin Prospect ain't, uh, ain't super close either. We're picking up speed now, but it's still taking us a minute to get to this station. You got 1.7 billion, so you're on your way. Man, and here I thought we were fancy when we got our first million credits. Jeez. We ain't putting in the proper hours. <laughs> okay, we're coming in a little too fast now. Let's throttle down. A fully fitted fleet carrier is 30 minimum upkeep. 30 billion minimum? Or 30 million upkeep? Gotta be million. Gotta be million. Yeah, a million. Now, what is Aldin Prospect orbiting? New signal sources coming in. But they also require fuel. Okay, so they really are a big credit sink then, huh? Which is tritium. Ah. We used Tritium to fuel our ship in the last space game we were playing, Little No Man's Sky. Oh, I'm a little off course here. There we go. Reconnect. That's a lovely looking planet. Tritium is an isotope of hydrogen, is it now? See, I did not know that. I'm not much of a chemist. All I know about hydrogen is I know hydrogen. I know heavy hydrogen. That's about it. <laughs> slow down. Tell me to slow down. This is the Vector Spaceman of the Spaceman 2. 
We got this. Oh, we really do need to slow down. Oh, 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 jeez. No worries. We're not going to panic. And once we get under a million meters, we're going to drop it. Also known as Hydrogen 3. Well, that makes sense. That's what the try is all about then. You got Hydrogen, you got Deuterium, and then you got Tritium. It sounds like. Alright, dropping out. Full stop. Alright. What's the play here? We're going to request docking. Then we're going to go cool runnings. And we're going to pop heat sinks. Granted. And we're gonna go cool. Shields offline. Silent running. We are going to pop a heat sink. As soon as it gets dangerously hot. Like right there. There's our landing pad. There we are. Landing pad three coming in. We're still good for heat. Slow down, spaceman. Slow down. Oh, it's cool though. It's cool though. We're fine. We're running cool. No worries, we just gotta land quickly. I know we're flying erratically. Because we're in a hurry here. Landing gear is down. Landing gear deployed. And... Oh! Scrape. Taking damage. Oh! Warning. Because... Oh! Because we don't have... Oh. Pop another one. No worries. Got heat sink still. Now we go in for a cool landing. There we go. No, we overshot it. Why? <laughs> there we go. Oh, are you kidding me? Chill out, spaceman. There we go. Woo! Starport services. Can I sell? I can sell my silver at an incredible loss, or I could sell my performance enhancers for 17,000 credit profit. Look at that. That is how we smuggle goods, you guys. Turn off cool runnings. Oh, can I not, can I not disengage silent running? I guess it doesn't uh, continue to damage us while we're docked. Alright, that's good to know, that's good to know. Whew, we did it! Doesn't help that these stations only have one medium pad. Ah. Well, it's a good thing we didn't freak out there, you guys, and bounce all over the place and rack up the 1700 cre credit repair bill and waste like three, what, two or three heat sinks. No worries, though. No worries. So this is an extraction station. What kind of metals they rocking? They got some gold for sale. This is all our profit if we're selling at Springer Gateway. Maybe we should go back and visit Springer Gateway. Because we could load up on gold and the silver that we already got. Turn a tidy profit, I think. Me thinks, me thinks. Can't remember what the old route was, but there was some back and forth route that we used to do where we'd get like 14 or 17,000 credits for every unit of silver. That's how we started racking up 
pretty good money when we first started playing. All because we've got this really useful companion tool that uh, other players have made. This, uh, what is it called? EDDB, Elite Dangerous Database. I'm sure it was one of the space cadets, one of the folks in the chat who told, told us about this originally. It probably has changed since then as the market is not fixed. Yeah, we probably just got lucky. We'll have to find a new ideal route. Probably you. <laughs> oh, look, we can buy more silver here. This is perfect. So we'll just load up. On silver. And then we'll take it to Springer Gateway. And sell it off for a tidy profit. Probably also mentioned Inara. I don't recall Inara. You might have. If you did, then I've clearly forgotten about it. But tell us, uh, tell us about that. Forty-two light years away, Springer Gateway. Show us this. Let's see. Can we plot blah blah plot a route? We're right here, that'd be what? One, two. One, two, three, four, five jumps. Could be doable, could be doable. Let's load up the uh the cargo bay. At maximum capacity. Basically like EDDB, but has a bit more stuff. Well then I should be checking that out. I should be checking that out when I got the time. Oh, I think I'm definitely going to be getting back into this game, at least off stream. It is super fun to fly around and do stuff. Basically up to preference between the two. Well, at least I know how EDDB works, so that one's working for me. I'll probably try out the other one as well. All right, let's make a big silver run, you guys. Time to earn some credits. Maybe we can buy a better ship one of these days. The one that I really, really like is... Uh, oh, I guess we can't preview any of them here, but there's one... It's one of the, uh, I think it's called the Chieftain. It's one of the Lacon ships. I think it's just got a really, really cool look to it. You could always get into mining for silver. So that's another thing that we haven't tried it. So now we know how to, how to smuggle goods. So that's great. But we've never tried our hand at any sort of mining. Maybe we'll try outfitting our ship for that while we're at Springer Gateway. Because I know it's a, it's an actual station we could actually get stuff done there buy some stuff buy some new uh some new ship equipment after we cash in all of this silver let's launch let's see how you die hey doc sagan how are you doing good to see you welcome to an evening of space cruising on vector spaceways we're off to drop off a load of silver we just smuggled in some performance enhancers into the alpha centauri system a little bit of space crime and we only almost blew ourselves up in the process. There are three, technically four ways to mine. Okay, well, listen, as long as we can learn at least one of them, that'll be a good start. Let's launch, you guys. How are you doing tonight, Doc? Thanks for tuning in. Always a pleasure to see ya. Okay, we're turning off our silent running so we don't overheat and die. And then we are going to start our process of continuous jumps. Get out of mass lock range. Now it's all coming back to us. Look at this. There we go. Initiate jump. Jump exceeds drive fuel. Use lip. Oh, for crying out loud. All right. Full stop. Redo our route. We're heading to the Senlu system. If we can actually get there. With all of this tonnage that we're hauling. Come on, come on. Springer Gateway, come on. Plot a route. 
All right, we locked in. There we go. Okay. Now let's toggle up. Our shields are back online, or coming back online. Let's give it a second here. Shields online. There we go. Let's jump. So there's lasers, abrasion blasting, subsurface, and core mining. I think I've seen videos of the ones where you're like blowing up asteroids, but then I think I've also seen the ones where you're just lasering them and scooping stuff up. We'll see what we can afford to get into once we hit Springer Station. My heat sinks have low power. Oh! There's our next jump on the other side of the star. Why don't we scoop up a little fuel on the way there? We'll just top ourselves off. Yeah. Okay, let's manage this heat. Acceptable levels. What happens if I run into one of those solar flares? All right, there we go. We're safe. Warning. Temperature critical. Yeah, yeah, we're good. No worries. We're getting out of range. We're making it. Temperature falling. Fantastic. What an investment that was. Laser mining while quicker. And you gain more resources per rock. They also don't sell for a whole lot. Oh, so the quality of the stuff that you mine changes as well? Or is it you can only mine certain elements with the laser mining? Whereas core mining is blowing up the asteroids. You probably get big old chunks. Once again, we can pick up some fuel as we're passing by. Fuel scooping. Look at this. How rad is that? Just stay above the orbital plane here. Zip on by. Complete. Yeah, we are getting pretty close with <laughs> those heat levels, aren't we? No worries, no worries. We still have shields. Anarchy. We're entering into a lawless system, you guys. So core mining is more time consuming, but the resources from cores are generally rare and worth a lot of money. So some resources only come in cores. So that's what I was thinking, yeah. Because I, I doubt that they would set up some sort of like quality of, uh, of minerals that you can get, so it must just be subtypes. Okay, big old star. Looks scoopable. But where's our exit? Down here. We discovered a new system, you guys. Fantastic. Fantastic. Man, we're never going to have to pay for fuel again. Jeez, Louise. Alright, steady heat. Alright, getting a little hot. There we go. Let's dip. We'll boost on past that. I don't think we're going to take any heat damage this time. We're too far away now. Temperature is stable. Temperature is falling. Let's get ready for another jump. This star has no planets. It's just the star. In the greater scheme, that's probably most stars, though, isn't it? Oh, here we go. Inner Orion Spur is our next jump. See, how many more have we still got here? Oh, we can't tell. Coming up on 
on. Ooh, getting close this time. Our next jump is Senlu. We found ourselves a new route. This isn't the way that we usually go. On the other side of the star here, so of course we may as well pick up some fuel. Fuel scooping. Don't want to get too close now. Don't want to get too close. And there's our destination. Fuel scooping complete. Excellent. No, we're good. Temperature is good. Temperature is stable. And temperature is dropping. Okay, time for our last jump. According to Inara Musgravite, a core mine good has a max sell price of 981,000 credits. What the heck am I doing hauling silver for then? Jeez. I gotta get into a new line of work here. Gotta start finding me some muscrovite. Okay, oh! Big bold star right off our bow. There is Springer Gateway. Let's make a beeline right for it then. Waste no time. Core mining takes a lot of patience and knowing what to look for. Well, that sounds just like what we are terrible at. <laughs> We'll see what we can pick up from Springer Gateway once we dock. What sort of mining equipment we can pick up on the cheap. Ah, oh, now we can just sit back, stretch a little bit. Oh, let's all stretch. Let's all take a drink. Let's all indulge for a moment as we throttle down. Coming in a little fast here. Really fast here. go stabilize oh it looks like I got a message here what's this no fire zone entered oh that was just from the last station okay We're getting into the megameters now. Let's go. Slow down. Slow down. Oh, no. We're still in light seconds. Gotta get under 0.2, yeah? Was that it, or was it 0.1? Must be 0.1. Here we go. Can't remember if we ever visited this planet or not. Okay, coming in, slowing down. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and dropping. And here we are, our home away from home, Springer Gateway. find our entrance here. Mining can be very lucrative, but was nerfed recently, but the other jobs were also buffed to pay out better than what they did in the past, too. Other jobs like what, then? Like the, uh, the delivery missions, or the, um, the transport missions and stuff like that? Or the combat missions, the bounties and stuff? Fair, there is so much of this game that we haven't really interacted with yet. Alright, let's do a docking request. Access granted. Set down on 
There we go. Now we can see the entrance. Couldn't spot it from our little spinny orbit there. These guys know the way. Let's follow them. Combat mostly. See, we've never really dabbled at all with combat. I don't even know if we have any weapons on board. Let's see. What's my switch here? Analysis mode, combat mode. I think we just got heat sinks. I recently learned that these type of stations have red blinking nav lights on them that denotes the back of the station. Oh. Say, so I, I just figured out that the hologram shows you arrows that always point toward the entrance. That's good to know, too. The more indicators, the better. Okay, and we are heading for landing pad 20. Is it highlighting it for us now? No, those are other ships. 20, there we go. Pitch around, there we go. Gear down. And we're coming in nice and smooth. And we're not going to crash this time. We're not going to take anybody out with us. We're just going in for a nice, smooth landing. We don't have to worry about losing our heads because we don't have any contraband on us this time. Just a nice, deliberate, ow, landing. Scraping along the bottom. Getting into position. There we go. Landing like it's cool. <laughs> Freight and mining are still the best payouts. But the other jobs can still make decent profits. You can even be a pirate to make money. Ah! Space pirate vector spaceman. Now pirating NPC stuff or other players or both perhaps? Let's see. We'll refuel on the cheap. We'll repair on the cheap. Don't have to restock. Let's open up the market and let's sell some silver. We want to sell metal. We want to sell silver. For, look at that, 831,000 credit profit. Not bad for a few jumps. Which takes us back up to a grand total of... Little over 22 million, just under 23 million credits. Man, we're such a rich spaceman. I wonder what kind of missions they got here for us. Anything that pays well? Actually, I think most of our wee tiny space fortune came from a really lucky run that was asking us to deliver like a whole bunch of silver for a few million credits, something like that. That's what really got us started. Uh, we don't have enough room for a delivery like that. Courier jobs. I don't know where any of these systems are. Technically both, but you'll have better chances against NPCs as players tend to shoot back. Yeah, they would. They would, wouldn't they? All because they don't want to lose their precious cargo. Some people. Ooh, illegal missions, commercial samples. Massacre mob of pirates. No thank you, that sounds dangerous. Hmm, that doesn't seem like a bad... Look at this, 16 units of battle weapons. Hostile ships may be sent against you. Yeah, but I'm, I'm super, super slick. Oh, we gotta go find the weapons and bring them back. I see. Well, who's got time for that? Come on. Honestly. Let's take a look at the shipyard. No, at outfitting. Maybe we can find some mining equipment like we were talking about. One thing that happened with Star Citizen, says Doc Sagan, devs are gonna do a data reset. I knew it. Oh, so everybody's gonna lose all their stuff? But no, they wouldn't get rid of, like, people's uh, pre-order packages or whatever, right? 
Like if you spent a hundred or so or how, however many dollars on a on a ship, you'd probably still get that when they do the reset, right? You just lose all your all your cargo, all your credits when they do the next. Uh, I guess the next iteration of the game. Is that the idea? I can sort of see where that would be a good idea, because some people have been playing for years at this point. They, they're they going to outclass everybody who's going to get into the game when it finally does its proper launch, right? Alright, we've got hard points. Could we put mining tools on them? So for mining, you want mining lasers, a refinery, collector limpet controller, and prospector limpet controllers, and optionally a detail surface scanner. This is a lot to take in. Let's see. Should we get rid of our heat sinks then? We have presently got four heat sinks mounted. It seems overkill, because <laughs> I think we've only ever had to use like one at a time. Where do we put... Chaff launcher, what's an ECM? Shield booster, pulse wave analyzer? What the heck is that? Transfers thermal energy into a, no, that's a heatsink. Pulse wave, mining tool, okay. Used to detect deposits of valuable resources within asteroid fields or planetary rings. We want one of these then, huh? ECM is electronic countermeasures, I see. So ideally, I guess we would want a really good pulse wave analyzer so that we could identify resources. And then, what else do we need? Limpet controllers. Where would we put those? Would those be internal modules? Or would those be hard points? Mines, railguns, beam lasers. No, this is all weapons and such. For laser mining, not really needed. Okay, we won't worry about that then. My list that put in the chat is what you need to be effective at laser mining. Okay. Maybe it's a small hard point. Let's see. Or maybe it is an internal thing. Oh, they're just going to do a data reset? Not deleting their purchases? Alright, well that's good of them at least. That's the sensible thing to do. Cargo rack collection limpet. Okay. And fuel. Not fuel limpets. We want prospecting limpets and collection limpets, you said. probably want a really good one, right? What's the difference here? Range goes down. Power draw goes up. Lifetime goes up. Is that good? Sounds good. Expensive tends to be better. Let's go for a limpet, or actually, let's see, first of all, What are we going to have to drop here? We're going to have to store this cargo rack. Let's see. And then we'll have room for a collection limpet. You can also add multiple collection limpet controllers so you can have multiple limpets collecting stuff. Oh. Oh, but you know what? I'm, I'm swapping out my cargo racks here. And that's where all my collected stuff is going to go. So I don't want to take out my cargo racks. I want to take out stuff like my passenger cabin. Or my super cruise assist or something. Or my fuel scoop. Probably don't need the fuel scoop right now. Well, I guess it depends on where we're going mining. Shield generator. Yeah, we don't need the economy class passenger cabin. We will store that. 
we will replace it with more cargo. Or what is our present tonnage? Let's see. Where can I see that? So if we go for this one here, which I think we already have one of. Can I not just... Don't I already have one of these? Where's my stored stuff? Let's see. Transfer, yeah, my cargo rack. I can just put that in its place. Or, another possibility, are there level 3 collection limpets? Yes, there are. Max active limpets becomes two. Okay, so now we're getting deals. So we need a collection limpet, and you see we need a prospecting limpet as well. What is the difference there? Can't mine without... Oh, yeah, that's right, the refinery. Okie dokie. Let's see. Where do we find refineries? And also, can we get a level two refinery? Probably don't want a level 2 refinery, do we? We probably want the best refinery that we can get. Ooh, these are expensive. Bin count. What the heck is a bin count? Is that the number of materials it can process at a time? Converts fragments of mined resources into tradable commodity units. Posting again for reference. Yeah, it's a lot to, a lot to keep track of, Historia. Thanks. Alright, let's drop the fuel scoop. For now. Just for now. That seems dangerous though, doesn't it? Let's keep the fuel scoop. And then we'll go for a level 3 refinery. Even though it's a little pricey. Oh wow, is that ever pricey. Bin count 8 though. Prospector's basically prospecting an asteroid, telling you its contents, as well as increasing output. Okay, okay. Tell you what we'll do. We'll go Class 3 Collection Limpet. Whoops. Class 2 Refinery, and Class 2 Prospector. Oh, they only go up to uh, level 1. Okay. That's good to know. Well, we want a good one. And where are you? Refinery. Here we go. Bada bing, bada boom. Don't forget to actually buy the limpets from the advanced maintenance. Okay, will do. Sell your super cruise assist. You're not being using it anyways. Well, that's a good idea. We could just store this for now. We could put this into our empty number one slot. And then we could put in back our extra cargo rack. Take us up to 100 tonnage. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, now we need mining stuff. We need lasers. Let's look for mining lasers. Are they going to be specific? Are they under mining tools? Mining laser, okay. Seismic charge launcher, no thank you. What's the best mining laser we can get our hands on? 
Mining tools only go to class two, by the way. Okay. Oh, I see. What was I looking in? I was looking in class two, so that's fine. 2D, 2B, displacement missiles. We're not using missiles, we're using lasers. Now, is having two of these going to be better than one? Make sure to not get a turret. Okay. I just bought a turret. <laughs> what's the uh, what's the difference between the turret and uh, and a fixed laser? And also, how can I tell the difference here? That's a turret. That's fixed. Okay. That's the difference. Turrets are more expensive. Okay. So we're going to buy fixed laser. And we are going to... Sell this one off. We don't need this right now. And we're going to buy another fixed laser. And I assume that having two fixed lasers is going to let us mine faster. The laser fixer fixes and the torrent can cause harm. I see. May want to upgrade my power plant. All right, I'll consider it. That's going to be in my internal modules, I'm guessing. Life support, sensors... Oh, maybe not. Optional internal? Cargo, refinery... You're hitting your power limit on your ship? Yeah, I can see stuff going up here. Retracted and deployed. We're getting close to our maximum wattage. It would be core internal? I must have missed it then. Thrusters, power plant, here we go. We got a 5E power plant right now. Could we afford a better one? Like a 5A power plant? Ooh, look at all them watts. It's a small price to pay. a super cool ship. We'll exchange it. Sounds good. Get a little bit of a discount. 5D should be fine. Ah, we're even better than that. We go all out here. What are credits good for, if not spending? Alright, so we should be all kitted out. Set fire group reminder. Yes, thank you for that. Advanced maintenance. Let's buy us some limpets. Limpet control. Okay, how many limpets do we want? Why not 100? How much is that going to set us back? 10,000 credits? Cargo hold at maximum oh, capacity. I see. So we swap limpets for the cargo that we're bringing in then. Take 50? <laughs> we got to be quicker than this, Astoria. We're over here making bad decisions. <laughs> Alright, we will sell off some of those then. At a bit of a loss. Eh, let's see. What do we need to do now? We need to set up our firing groups. Alright, fire group. Pulse laser. Let's make a new group here. How do we do this? Here we go. B, we want... Limpet Collector. Now we want Mining Laser to be... There we go. And we want this here. How do we use the Prospector, though? What does that actually do? How do we activate that? Tell you what, we'll set up a whole second fire group. We'll call this one the Prospector. And we'll call this one the Collector. And we'll separate it like that. How does that work? I don't love the way that fire groups work in this game. I think you should have a little more control over that. Alright, let's launch. Find us some rocks to blow up. And then we'll end the show with some rocks in our in our pockets. Basically, you aim it like a rocket and shoot it at a rock for the prospector. Okay. 
And then does that consume a limpet as well? Or does that come back to us? We're learning so much tonight, you guys. Oh, 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 clearance, clearance. Oh. We're good, we're good. Shields ate most of that. Now the real question is, where are we gonna go looking for rocks? Yes, limpets are cheap and disposable dumb robots, okay. Let's come to a full stop here, once we're out of mass lock range. Put the station in our rear view mirror. There we go. And let's find some rocks. Let's see if there's any asteroid areas within the system. Looks like there is. Belt cluster, asteroid belt clusters. Closest one, looks like it's right around here, an asteroid cluster. Potential rewards for miners, check the system map to review the cluster type. Okay, let's look at the system map. A planetary ring would work. Oh look, this planet's got rings. Where are we right now? We're right here. Didn't realize the system had two stars, okay. Let's head to Sen Lu A2. Route unavailable. I just want to target it. We can jet over there on our own then. There it is. Let's get ready to cruise. It'll take us a year at this rate. Thank goodness for the wonders of modern science. We'll just cruise. Picking up speed. To be fair, I don't actually know how far 2345 light seconds is. It looks like it's still going to take us a long, long time. You kind of want to dive into the ring head first while pulling back your throttle? Can do be. Let's see, are we sure there wasn't anything closer around here? We're looking at just under... Well, it's saying just under a minute. I don't know if we can trust that. Though we are picking up speed here. We're just over 2.5C. Okay, here we go. Now we're motoring. Just had to let it warm up. Dive into the ring head first. It sounds safe, but I'm ass <laughs> I'm assuming that the uh, the ship sensor is gonna pull us out before we impact with anything. How lucky we are to have Historia Gaming here and all the other space cadets who are teaching us how to get stuff done in this game. All right, 1400 light seconds and falling. The real question is, could we set it up so that we hit this thing coming in at like 40 C? That's kind of what I do on Twitch with Elite. I help the noobs. Wow, how wholesome. Oh, okay, we're coming real, real fast. Real, real fast. I mean, real, real fast. Welcome to Elite Dangerous. Yep. We're keeping things dangerous. a hundred light seconds now and falling we're ready to hit this thing dead on do we want to 
get a little elevation perhaps so that we can smack right into these rings. Anything to help climb the learning cliff. <laughs> In fact, a lot of the elite community is extremely helpful. Well, the first thing I ever learned about Elite Dangerous was the uh, the fuel rats. I thought they were like the coolest dudes ever. Running out to help stranded dudes. What's not to love? All right, we are going to bring our nose down right into these rings. Here we go. Bada bing, look at that. All integrity, ow, ow. <laughs> All right, let's get our bearings here. Woo, perfect landing. Let's slow our roll here. We all had to climb the cliff at one point, so why not leave some climbing anchors behind for other climbers? See, that's just that's just considerate. You didn't pull back your throttle. You're absolutely right. I didn't. I smacked in full, full speed. Forgot about that part. <laughs> all right, let us... Oh, how do we... There we go. That's how we do it. Okay, mining lasers. Switch mode. The heck? Oh no, how do we activate weapons? I forgot how to do that. Let's see. So many controls here that we gotta remember. Let's see. Weapons. Deploy hard points is you. Okay. Switch mode. Alright, hold on. What is mode? Combat mode. Mining laser. Oh, can mining lasers only be used in analysis mode? Oh, interesting. Alright, pick an asteroid and launch a projector at it. Alright, let's try to get close, huh? This looks like a good rock. Did we, did we drone? Did we leave it behind us? Also try not to run over your limpet, I think is that what happened? <laughs> okay. Alright, we'll wait till we're in range then for the mining laser. Are we not in range? Okay, 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 that's range. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Whoa, close one. Slow, slow, back it up, back it up. Oh, we actually hit it. Fantastic. I think perhaps we hit the wrong asteroid. Now target your prospector like a ship. Oh, it was there. Okay. Awesome. That's cool. Now what happened here? Did we put it on the other side of the rock? Or where is it? It's just so small I can't see it, perhaps. Yeah, it's right there. Now, is it going to give us any data? You should tell you what the rock is comprised of to the left there. Let's see. Oh, right there. I see. On my lower left. Minerals remaining. Indite. Uranite. Or uraninite. Holtan. Material content medium. 100% minerals remaining, though. What the heck is indite? And is it very expensive? Let's see. I'm looking for indite. 
indium. Oh, but it's not a metal, is it? It is a mineral. Indite. There we go. Looks like we can sell Indite at 13,000 credits a pop if we take it all the way back to Springer Gateway. If I'm reading that correctly. Well, that doesn't sound like a bad deal. Now, do we get to choose what it is we're mining out of here? That's the question. Whoop. Let's come in to do a little lasering. Alright, we're in range. Time to shoot. You know what? You know what? Hold on. Full stop. I should set up, let's see, a proper fire group here. Whoops. So that our collector and mining laser can be used at the same time. There we go. You can ignore minerals as they break off the rock in contacts. So you can ignore minerals? Oh, as they... I see what you mean. I see what you mean. So we just get to choose, then, what we want to actually collect. So we just laser the rock, then. We are overheating, but that's fine. It'll come back online. Now the question is, how long of a sustained shot do we need, and should we continue focusing on the same spot? Conventional wisdom would say yes, but who can tell with games like this? So collectors are multi-use as long as you don't have anything targeted. Set power to weapons, by the way. Ah, good idea. I usually have mine set on engine. Let's pick a spot and let's blast. Alright. Not seeing anything break off yet. But we'll keep focus firing here. Our laser's just not strong enough to get through, perhaps. Whoa. I knew I should have sprung for the turbo. Oh, hold on. I'm seeing some little, some little pieces here. Some little fragments or something. Is that what these are? You're mining, you're blasting off tiny little chunks. Yeah, I'm just seeing these. Alright, so, if we send out a, let's see, collector. Programming Linked Drone. And look at this, what's coming back to us. We check our inventory. Linked Drone Error. Deploy Cargo Hatch. Deploy Cargo Hatch, okay. Deployed. Go, Limpet, go. What do you got for me? We got... Hopper is empty. No materials? What does that mean? Cargo capacity is still at 48%. Once it reaches 100%, it makes one unit of that command. Oh, I see, I oh, see. Now, it's not just one use limpet per... per shot, so we can, we can send out more limpets then, yeah? New material discovered. So if we just keep blasting here, we're going to keep creating more chunks for them to bring back to us. So that's what the refinery is for. And then look at that, we get one unit of indite. So this is actually a, uh, a long process then, isn't it? Just keep lasering the asteroid until it says depleted. Okay, let's see. 
try not to shoot our uh, our own limpets. And we can get a little closer here to save travel time. Try not to run them over. We discovered sulfur. Nice. Get as close as we can here. Yeah, look at those little things. So the scale is all wonky because I get this close and the, uh, the textures get all stretched. So that's what makes me think that we're way too close. Asteroid depleted? What the heck? I was here for like a minute. Look at it. It's still huge. Discovered phosphorus. So we got two units of indite out of that. Now we just gotta wait for the limpets to finish working? Is that the idea? New material discovered again? Alright, so how do I know if limpets are still collecting stuff then? Because I could still hear them being busy running around. No valid collection targets. Okay, that's probably what tells me that. So what do you think is the best amount of uh, limpets to have working at the same time? The ideal amount, like, for efficiency's sake, I suppose. Depends on the ship? Hmm. Alright, we'll try prospecting one more asteroid, and then we'll head back to... head back to the station, sell our wares, and we'll call it there for the night. That's pretty rad, though. We're getting used to this whole mining thing now, opening up all new possibilities for us. All right, let's slow down. Come to a complete stop. Safety first. Let's prospect. Prospect limpet failed. Failed. Awesome. There it goes. I see it going. Prospect Olympic engaged. There we go. That wasn't so hard, was it? Asteroid scan complete. We got ooh, we got silver, we got uraninite, we got osmium. Silver, I'm very interested in. I love selling me some silver. All right, let's get close. Try to find the axis of rotation here, so we can just park above it. And let's start scooping. Now we got it down, Pat. Now we got a system going. We just rotate with the asteroid. Stay nice and close to our limpets. Keep busting off chunks. And I can see in the bottom left corner there, 62% minerals remaining. Collector limpet expired, all right. We'll send out another one. Collector limpet expired. Programming limpet drone. Fairly relaxing process. I don't mind this. Oh, there goes our dead limpet. Spinning off into space. You were a good robot. found some carbon. Let's take a look at what we're racking up in the inventory here. Let's see, we got carbon, we got chromium, we got iron, we got nickel, phosphorus, sulfur. 
My goodness gracious. Indite, uranite. So these are all of our completed materials. We still got to get a bunch more if we want any of these, so... I guess it can be a tedious process, huh? The elements are materials used in engineering. Ah. And engineering is like the, the really high-level ship upgrades, right? Asteroid depleted. We got it, you guys. So now we'll just wait for our scoops to finish the job. I think we got one, two... Two active scoops, by the look of it. And a whole lot of contacts on the radar here. We'll speed things up. We'll send out another... Oh, can we not send out another... Collector drone. I guess not. We can have a max of two active at a time, I think. Yes, they were telling us that earlier. See, you gotta pay attention to what the game tells you. Meanwhile, let's see, have we got anything else in our inventory? No, it looks like we just got the indite. So ideally you'd spend like hours and hours out here mining for stuff, so that eventually you'd be able to haul in a whole cargo load of minerals and metals and what have you. If you had the time for that sort of thing, I suppose. Come on, Limpets. Let's go. So this asteroid in particular... I don't even know if we're going to get enough... ...material out of the, uh, the thing... ...to offset the cost of the Limpets <laughs> that we used. The first one was alright, because I think that's going to sell... ...the three units of Indite, or whatever it was. So mining is always a... Oh, and look at that! A whole unit of silver? Yeah, that's going to pay for itself then. Limpets are stupidly cheap. Well, yeah, I, I remember when we were picking up, like, I was going to take a hundred of them at a, at a time. I think there's something like a hundred credits each or something. Pretty, pretty cheap. Well, while we're waiting, I may as well... Tab over to Twitch here and see who else is streaming tonight so that we can go say hi to some friends of the show once we do close out our program for the evening. Keep the party rolling, as it were. Let's see, who's doing stuff? I think I know where we're going to go. We're going to go say hi to Pillabird, friend of the show and artiste, who is making some Spaceman fan art today, actually. We had tuned into one of our earlier streams. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. That sounds like a plan. Okay, looks like we got everything that we can get out of this rock. So, let us chart a course back to Springer Station. Or what is it called? Where are you? Where are you? Springer Gateway, there we go. Now, getting out of this asteroid field, or planet ring, as it were, is this going to be a difficult maneuver? Let's see. Do we have to pitch up? Our mass locks, okay. And our cargo scoop is open. Let's Let's close that. Retracted. 
So we're just going to have to boost out of here. The question is, how long is this maneuver going to take us? Put our power back into engines. Insufficient energy in capacitor. There we go. Big boost. Alright, looks like... We're making our way out of it. That's good. Alright, no longer mass locked. Let's aim ourselves over here. Hard points. Ah, yes, okay. We need to retract hard points. What was the button for that? There we go. Hard points are retracted. Now we can jump. Also, a good tip to keep in mind when mining is every time you come into a ring, an NPC usually spawn with you. Let them scan you. Emergency. Oh, no, 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 no. We screwed that up right quick, didn't we? Almost boosted right back into that. All right, got to pitch up a little bit. Let them scan you with nothing in your hold, then they'll leave you be and not come back. Ah. See, they don't think we're there for mining. Why else would we be in an asteroid field? All right, let this safety cooldown run. That'll take a minute. All right, we need to get a little safety zone here. Well, I want to say thanks ahead of time, Historia. You've been very, very helpful tonight helping a spaceman along in his journey through interplanetary space. Frameshift drive charging. Oh, we're being disrupted by the sheer mass of this planet. All right, there we go. Charging up faster and bada bing, three, boost. Two, we help everyone. You are so helpful, Doc. Let's get past these rings. We are clear. And now we'll toggle up to something like 40C. And it's a straight shot back to home at Springer Gateway. We'll sell off everything in the cargo hold. And we'll call it a day. Productive stream tonight, you guys. We learned a whole lot. We learned how to smuggle goods. We learned how to mine asteroids? I'd call that a win. That's a productive evening. I hope you guys all had a good time too, watching Spaceman fumble around with his thrusters. We need more speed, come on. Minerals mined are always a profit as well, as he didn't spend money to mine them. True, we just uh, use laser. As long as they can cover the cost of limpets, we're solid, we're good. Just all comes down to the time that we spent. Though to be fair, if we could still keep making like close to million credit profits off of like five system jumps. That's probably still the, the go-to money-making method for Spaceman right now. The cost was just your time indeed. Opportun opportunity costs and all that. That's how you gotta be thinking. What's your time worth? Alright, Springer Gateway is right ahead of us. Coming in quick. Start to slow down here. I appreciate that they don't skimp on scale in this game. You want to go somewhere far away? All right, but it's going to cost you. It's going to take a minute. My current being spent helping my dad at work in construction. Well, that's cool. A little hands-on work. I used to love doing construction projects back in the day. 
Which is why I had no energy to play video game. Well, that's understandable. We're not going to fault you for that. But as, a, as an armchair backseat pilot, I'd say you've done great work tonight. Okay, and there's our station. Now, are there player-controlled stations in this game as well, or just like the uh, the flagships? Yeah, uh, nailed it. Let's call in a landing request. Oh, we're still too far away. Uh, let's see. There's the entrance. Should be able to hail them now. Docking request. Come on, come on. There we go. Oh, had the wrong side of the uh, station. for landing pad 38. Okay, spin around. There we go. Slow down. Speed up. Move over. You're on course, Commander. Ground crew are on standby. Yeah, we're on course. We're so good at this. Okay, landing pad 30A, where are you? There we go, dead ahead. Gotta get me a joystick or something to fully experience what this game has to offer. Landing gear down. Nice and easy. Right onto the landing pad. Look at that. Smooth as butter. Bam. Fuel up. Repair up. That was the biggest cost. <laughs> and let's sell some gear. Technically yes, but technically no. You can request a minor faction from the devs for your player group to be placed into the game, but you don't actually control them kind of do their own thing and you help them along by doing stuff for them. Okay, so the closest thing you can get is the big ships then. Let's sell some commodities. Let's see here. We have got a unit of silver. Three credits. Oh, look at that. 48,000 credits. You find a silver rich Asteroid field or something? You're just rolling in dough. Not bad for our first foray into mining. Alright, and let us dock here at Springer Gateway. And that's where we're going to close out the show, you guys. Excellent stuff. We'll log out right here. Well, I hope you guys had fun watching a spaceman maneuver through the universe. Osmium and Platinum are your money makers at the moment for laser mining. All right, I'll keep my eye out for them then. Let's head back to the station screen here and let's get ready to say goodbye. Another successful foray into deep space. I don't know, I think we could see some more Elite Dangerous on the schedule coming up. Always a fun time. I always have a good time with it, at least. 
Now let's see if our raid target is still online. We'll get things set up here. Oh, perhaps not. Looks like Pilla just ended her show. So let's choose a new target here. Let's go see our friends at the Nova Swarm. Looks like they're playing Klonoa Door to Phantom Isle. I am not familiar with that game at all, except I'm, I, I'm familiar with the character of Klonoa. Let's go see what they're up to. Always love saying hi to the Nova Swarm. That three-member virtual space-themed streamer team. Fantastic trio. Let's set that up. And we'll get ready to say farewell. There they go. Okay, all ready to rock. Thanks again, Historia. I suggest getting a detail surface scanner for scanning for hot spots. That sounds like a good idea. That sounds like the next step. Thanks to you, Doc, and thanks to everybody who tuned in tonight. Everybody lurking in the chat. Don't you know we appreciate it? Our raid's good and ready to go, so... With that said, we're going to close things out. I want to thank each and every one of you who tuned in tonight, wherever and whenever you are. As I said, this is our last stream for the week, but we're going to be back on the weekend. We're going to be on Koryojo's channel. Make sure you check her out. We're going to be on her Sunday birthday subathon stream. Go wow. show her some love. Check her out. It's going to be a fun time. We're going to be a special guest along with some other virtual streamers. That's going to be Sunday at 4.30 Eastern, uh, blah, 4 p.m. Eastern over on her channel. So check it out. We're going to have some good times. Until then, no matter what life throws your way, Space Cadets, good luck and Godspeed. This is Vector Spaceman signing off. Now stick around for that raid, because we're going to send you off for some more great content for your evening, and some more great friends. Take care, everybody, and we'll see you again real, real soon. Have a great weekend, everybody. So long.